learn, come back home, and show the world that Canadian girls have the talent, the beauty, and the ambition to make it anywhere. I do have a serious passion for fashion. Thousands of girls from all over the country have a dream, but only one can be Canada's next top model. <laughs> This is Jay Manuel calling from Canada's Next Top Model. I personally wanted to call you and let you know that you're one of the finalists on Canada's Next Top Model. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love you! Oh my god, thank you so much. Hey girls! How are you doing? Are you guys excited to be here? I went through thousands and thousands and thousands of applications and I'm so proud of Canada because there's some amazing girls here. But you know what? It was really, 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 really hard narrowing it down. Take a look around. Who is your competition in this room? Everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's her, yeah? yeah. You think so? Well, I do have a little surprise for you. Take a look behind me. And I was like, no, no, you're not. You're the top 20. When those doors open and seeing those other girls, they are taller. They're very skinny. They're all very pretty. It's hard. Why don't you come all stand over here? We started off the day pretty comfortable with our own little group of people. And then all of a sudden, it's like, OK, competition time. <laughs> it is time right now to find Canada's next top model. And guess what? <laughs> Guess what? She's standing in the room right now. Who is it? Me, right here. Oh, I love that. But you know what? I've got some news for you. I only have room for 10 of you. 10 of you are going home. It's really sad because those 10 girls are going to be crying tonight. Maybe I'm one of them. You never know, you know? 10 people are going to get cut, so I kind of have to prove myself more, which is really exciting, so it's good, but it's just kind of scary, too, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to go home yet. But I can't make this decision on my own. I had to bring your mentors, your guides. <laughs> what's up, girls? What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, how wow. gorgeous are these girls? Looking good. So you guys obviously know Miss Stacy McKenzie, right? Stacy was a judge and the model coach of Canada's Next Top Model. You're on the runway. Give me some drama. You went out strong, come off strong. Make mama proud. And then, of course, Mr. Nole Marin. Nole has been on America's Next Top Model along with me and Tyra and the gang. The picture is just bland. Last week you were a broken rag doll, now you are a queen. I'm always gonna be on her side. Because you're a plus size girl, honey. And proud of it. Nole is a fashion editor and an amazing creative director, and he is gonna be your creative director of all your photo shoots. Three of us are gonna meet with each and every one of you individually. And you girls have to bring your passion, your drive. You need to tell us why you need to be a part of this competition. So you guys ready for this? Because okay. like I said, at the end of the day, 10 of you are going home. There's a room full of a lot of pretty girls. <laughs> so the competition is going to be tough. If I don't make it, I will be very devastated and it's going to, I'm going to be crushed. I'm actually starting to like get my game face on, start focus and looking at girls and sizing them up. and. It's going to be intense. I'm an outgoing person. I can definitely survive in that type of world, you know, where um, it's pretty much dog eat dog, you know. you got to put yourself out there and be heard, be seen. The evaluation coming up is going to be stressful, I think. None of them have anything on me. <laughs> I'm here for one reason only, and that's to win. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. 
tell us why do you think that you can be Canada's next top model? I don't think I can. I am. I don't know what these other girls are here for. I love oh, your I love confidence. confidence. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't you give us a really strong runway walk? Where'd that come from? Hi. Hi. We've had a lot of emotional things happen to you in the last couple yeah. of years. Do you want to tell us a bit about what's happened? Well, the first thing that happened was my boyfriend, he got in a car accident and died. And then after that, my dog died and then my grandma died. What happened as a result of all of those kind of experiences? I used to cry over anything and now I, I can usually keep my cool. I'm not really right now, but... <laughs> I don't look at it as a sign of weakness. Well, thank Thanks, you so Corey. much, Corey. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Good. Bye. Bye. I was about to burst out in tears. Wow. I want to be cast next time model because I'm not only gorgeous. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you have to be physically mentally, emotionally stable to do this. Sometimes people just have to be like, yo, listen up, okay? You don't know what's gonna happen. One day you're like, you know, Tyra Banks, the next day you're like, no one. <laughs> <laughs> so... If I don't make the top 10, it will be a shock, it will hurt. I want to show that a 5'8 girl like this, with me a little bump on her nose, she can do it. I want to be a model. I'm, I think it's going to go well. I have a good feeling. It's going to be intense. Hi. Hi. Can you just push your hair all the way back off your face, kind of just like, yeah, there you go. Great. Now I can see your face. She walks towards you. She's beautiful. I just love how you walked in there and just opened the place. <laughs> Thank you. I must say, I love this outfit, too. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do you like fashion? Oh, love it. Love Tell it. us a bit about why you're here. Working in a factory. What do you oh, do? I love it already, baby. I'm in the, um, the raw meats processing. What? You make hot dogs? I make hot dogs. When I go into work, like, I leave covered in blood. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's totally surreal. She has a passion for fashion. Passion mm. for fashion. We love that. Dripped in blood <laughs> with sausages. I know. Love it. <laughs> Hi. 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 I've been pursuing modeling for a long time now. I want you to give me three strong poses. Boom, right on the spot. I can try. All right, so more than try. Give me a pose. Pose two. Give me pose three. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to really have to work with that walk. <laughs> Why do you want to be Canada's next top model? I've been doing volunteer modeling since I was like eight years old. Okay, we're gonna stop you. Can I volunteer that? for that? <laughs> no, yeah. you can't. Wait, <laughs> what is volunteer modeling? Okay, uh, the mall, they put on like modeling shows and basically they ask you if you'll model for them. I would just call it modeling. Volunteer modeling makes me think you're doing something for Red Cross. I think the evaluation could have gone better, but I think for the most part it went generally well. Miss Volunteer Model yeah, herself, yeah. and she gave me the mall fashion show teeter-totter, turn around and back. Not even. Did a lot of people tell you growing up that you're this beautiful girl, you should be a model? Yes. A lot? Yeah. Because yeah. you're really, really, really beautiful. Hi. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't have any experience, but I want to learn. It went well, I think. I have a good feeling about it. Do you have any special talents? I dance. Oh, you dance? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I got to see a little something. Go ahead, don't be afraid. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not really sure how I feel about my chances. I'm sort of in the middle about it. I love photography. Who are your favorite fashion photographers? I don't even know. Oh my god. What? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm like, oh. oh god. 
Um, Annie Leibovitz. Ooh, I love it. Ooh. Not so sure how good it went. I was so nervous, I went completely blank. They asked me questions and I was like... To be fair, and I'm not being cocky, I think I was born to model. And I look at everybody else around me, I'm like, yeah, you're pretty, but trust me, you're not competition enough because I am here to win. All right, guys, we now have the really difficult task of narrowing down these 20 amazing girls to 10. Mo. She looks a little short. You don't think with the right photographer and your magical right. direction, you can make her look elongated? Absolutely. Sinead. This is a girl who could totally benefit from a makeover and pop. Stephanie. Beautiful. She is a beautiful girl, but you know what? I'm looking for a top model. What about Janine? I love her body. Um, the face is not really doing it for me. Steph. Really exotic face, just beautiful eyes. Lacey. This is an example of the real pretty girl who walks down the street. Completely flat, no personality. Jacqueline. Gorgeous girl. Oh, she has a great face. She's not high in fashion, though. Elle. This is a girl with beautiful features, beautiful body, but the sum of the parts isn't giving me a wow. Sonia. Very cute. And that's just it. Gina. Vegas. She's a Maxim girl. A top model speaks to both men and, and women. women. She does oh. speak to both men and women. Tara. I think she definitely has potential. With a makeover, so in. Corey. Oh, a beautiful face. I think she's a diamond in the rough. Regine. I felt that this was a woman who could walk the runways in Europe. Beautiful, regular, round-the-way black girl. Really? Mika. I thought she was quite sexy. Very confident and full of herself. Jillian. I don't even remember. I don't have a clue who this question. girl is. Do we, do we see her? Cara. She has a great sense of style with what she was wearing. She has beautiful hair, but I do not think she's a model. Leanne. She has a great body. Isn't Leanne a little cross-eyed? <laughs> if you're a little cross-eyed, all you do is you cheat a little proportion oh, right, this way or this right. way. Rebecca. I think she has a lot of potential, especially in the high fashion department. I don't know if she's definitely going to be able to sell a product. Megan. Beautiful proportions. She just has the braces. They really don't bother me. Tia. I think Tia looked really beautiful in person. Yeah. But she needs a lot of work, though. What happens when she goes in front of a camera? Well, that was That's your fine. job. Now, I've got to go down and tell 10 girls they're going home. Ugh. So how are you guys feeling right now? Nervous. <laughs> We've flown 20 amazing girls from across this country to meet with us today, but 10 of you are going home. The 10 girls' names that I do call will continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. The first name I'm going to call is... Tar. Steph. <laughs> Jacqueline. No. No way. <laughs> Young girl who's gone through a lot. Corey. Oh. I've left. And then there's 15 of you standing there. But there's one girl with dimples, Gina. Next name I'm gonna call. Rebecca. Oh, it gets harder and harder. Next girl I'm gonna call. Tia. There's two names left. Another young lady who I think has a lot to offer. Sinead. 
Oh gosh, there's one name left. This last girl is gonna round out this fine group of girls here. Michelle. How you guys doing? This morning I was all excited, I was pumped, everything. I had my heart set on it and now I'm going home. Thousands of girls applied. This is not the last step. There'll be another opportunity. It just kind of sucks because I think I could have brought a lot. Whoa. The roughest thing is having your dream shut down, you know? But it's fair game and all those girls are awesome. All right, so you girls are the 10 in the house. But remember, one girl in this room right now is who? When we first saw the house, I was, it was crazy. I thought it was gorgeous. It just looks so fancy. There's a little runway, which is really cool. So we did a little strut and we did a little dance down the runway. Jay Manuel is all over our house. He's even up there. All the pictures of Jay just made it seem so glamorous. We grabbed our rooms, and there's a room with four beds, and there's a room with six beds. That was very interesting. I wasn't expecting the little gift packages on the beds, like, ooh, and we get free presents. Oil of Olay, toothbrush, toothpaste. What does he say something? Ooh, vivid white night. Those that cannot drink, still come downstairs because we're going to party. Welcome. We like explored all the first floor and the kitchen's like packed with food. Pizza! Pizza! Pizza tonight! Oh, I'm very, very hungry and I intend on making a whack load of pizza. What time is it? Yeah! I'm so exhausted right now, hence the Alcohol. <laughs> My roommates are Tia, obviously. We're really good buddies. Mika, I haven't had a chance to really get to know. She's been feeling kind of crummy for the majority of the time she's been here. Like right now, she's in bed. So it's like she's not out hanging out with everybody. The hardest part of this process is having to share a room with other girls, having to be around people 24-7. My family is totally against this. My father is a rich businessman, so it was completely cut me off because of this. I'm going to prove my dad wrong. I'm definitely going to prove my dad wrong. Jmail! Jmail! Is everyone here? Mika! Mika, Mika, Mika! Come on, it's oh. oh, no sale! She had to come down. Hey, girls, so are you ready for your first Jmail? Am I ready for my first Jmail? Well, we better be, so here we go. Why settle for one when you could have two? The competition starts now. Remember, bring your best game tomorrow and nothing else. Nothing else? And nothing else. The J-mail is such a riddle and all the girls are trying to decipher it and I've decided I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna be surprised. I need to brush my teeth and go to bed. Ooh. Wow. People like to talk a lot. Turn out from here and not from here because the turnout sucks. I got this like flashing rotating light and okay. they work together. Brilliant. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, the talking sometimes. I'm sure there's gonna be something that's gonna happen. <laughs> Cause there are some strong personalities. J Mail. We're all kinda like wondering what's gonna be going on. I'm kinda nervous, but um, I'm still confident, because that's that's what you gotta do, you know? Someone's in the shower. Do you have like toner or something to take makeup off? Because I'm like a raccoon itch. These are all like daily facial wipes and they take makeup off. It's really good. They said like bring your best or something. Your like, best game. Your or... best game. And nothing else. And nothing else. So we're thinking like no clothes or something like that? <laughs> Just you. Guys, this is intense. Like look what the TV says. <laughs> On the fridge. Like that, that. That's us, guys. 
We arrived here in two cars and we arrived at a place called Schmooze. And we walked into this club and Nole was standing right there. Girls, I am so excited. You are my 10 girls. Are you excited? <laughs> So ladies, we're here at the downtown hot club in Toronto called Club Schmooze, and I have an amazing photographer to shoot your first photo shoot. His name is Paul Alexander. Wow! <laughs> and I brought some hot accessories for you girls. Hey! Oh! Ooh. Your job's gonna be pretty easy with these two hotties. Are you guys ready to do your first nude photo shoot? Nude? I was kind of thrown off about that. Nude, but naked. Oh. Well, today we are doing a naked photo shoot <laughs> with two models over there. Can't really miss them. <laughs> they gotta stand out in the room. This is a really, really tough shoot for them. I'm really gonna see who's gonna step up to the plate today and really start the competition. I got a uh, Brazilian like two weeks ago. So let's clean up that landing strip. This powder is outstanding. You see how it blends well with your skin? This oh. is perfect. Thank you. I don't know how it's gonna work, so when I get in there, I'm, I'm gonna be like, hmm? You look gorgeous. Thank you. Let me see the legs. Perfect. Up. Let's give you a little bit of moisturizer for your legs. Always good to have moisturized skin for a shot. Really shows up really well. I'm a little nervous about the photo shoot. Well, I think anyone would be nervous doing this for their first time. My boyfriend knows there will be something like either topless or nude, and he said, pretend it's me or something. All with the eyes now. I feel you're a little blank. What are you thinking about? Passionate. That doesn't look passionate. Corey needs a lot of work. When she Very hits good. it, she hit it. Beautiful. 75% of the time, she did not hit it. You guys are into each other. Reach into it, gorgeous. Watch the tummy. Keep it tall. But there. Stunning. She's like young Nicole Kidman. Any angle you hit her on, the camera loved her. Fabulous. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Everything is kind of falling out everywhere, so whew, that was definitely intense. Here we go. Gina is really sexy girl, but she did not take direction well. Do not compress your neck. You have the neck of a swan, so it's elegant and elongated. Like that? Tara, I coined her Miss Mop Top. She came on set and she was a glamazon. See what a hairdo can do for you? <laughs> yeah. Not really sure how my boyfriend will feel about this, but he'll get over it. Money, baby. Amazing. Hi, baby. Hi. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Bravo. Smoky and sexy gorgeous. Rebecca has an extremely strong look. I think she needs some training. Put your hand on your hip. Can you do that? Really? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Now right there. Last shot. Right there. Go Good. On. Tia definitely needs a, a strong backbone to be in this business. Passion. You look scared. Let's make it happen. Tickle his ear, be more soft, more feminine. That's yeah. ugly, make it pretty. Tia definitely got her shot, but to get it was rough. For Stephanie's first photo shoot, being a nude shoot, she completely seemed like a professional. There we go, there we go. Nice. Close your mouth a little bit. Uh-oh, Stephanie, you're not sexy. Strong, Steph. If my dad saw the first thing I did was a nude photo shoot, he'd be like, see, I told you. Like, my dad thinks it's all just one big sex industry. Mika came on set like a little timid puppy, and then within minutes, she was out of the gate racing. Mika becoming alive on set yeah, now, yeah, what yeah. happened here? She was pushing the sexual envelope, which I was really surprised about. Beautiful Sinead. Sinead has an incredibly beautiful face, and Sinead's body is absolutely awesome. Oh, your booty looks good. Damn. <laughs> OK, you're not feeling sexy. I know you're nervous, right? The worst part about it was trying to stand there. My legs were shaking crazily the whole time. Tilt the head a bit. That's it. Uh, his face is in front of yours. That's not a good model. You're just kind of like moving around. I'm not feeling elegance out of you. Mo never understood what modeling is about. What are you feeling? Uh-huh, that's a problem. Yeah. Strong. You're smiling too much. We got 10 more frames. I don't think we got it yet. Unfortunately, we really suffered through those 50 frames, and I hope that we even have one good shot for Mo. We came home. Wow. 
one day it was pretty late and all the girls decided that we would make dinner together. So we all pitched in. You could just be like, hey, I could use some There's just one girl in the house who doesn't help out, doesn't do anything. It's Mika. She is driving me insane. Like I was cooking, everyone was cooking, people set the table. To our first nude photo shoot! Mika, she sat down, scarfed her food, and went for a cigarette. <laughs> Slightly odd. I just kind of want to stay on my own. I want to be who I am, and I want to get through this with as much focus and concentration as possible. I really don't care what everybody else in the house thinks. I think it's really important that all of these girls bring their number one game so that when I beat them, I know I beat them giving their all. Woo! Screw everything else. I left my boyfriend to come here. Like, it's all about kind of next top model right now. I kind of feel like I'm not going to get along with Tara. And she's in my room, so I really got to bite my tongue with things like that. Uh, right now, I think my biggest competition is probably Tara because she seems to take this so seriously. I'm growing taller. Oh, really? Honey, I miss you so much. <laughs> these, like, some of these girls, they just think they're, like, so much better. All the girls are looking at me like I'm not their competition, so I'm just gonna, like, slowly sneak up and f***ing show them. this morning. It was really exciting. Hey girls, so I don't exactly have the best news because today you girls are meeting with the judges. And that means that nine of you are gonna be continuing on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. So good luck and make sure you put your best selves forward. When I found out it was elimination day, I felt good, I felt confident. I was like, I think I'm doing pretty good. What do you think of that? I don't know, maybe I am going home, but I don't want to. I don't know, I don't think I do. I don't think I will be, but I don't know. Everyone thinks that, right? I think I'm at the forefront. <laughs> I put on a pretty good show the last two days, and I'm hoping that that's what counts, and not, you know, other little trivial matters. <laughs> it's kind of good, I think, in a way, because up till now, I don't think a lot of the girls are really treating this like a competition. I think definitely after today, it's going to settle in for a lot of the girls, but I mean, it's, it's game time. <laughs> Welcome to your very first judging. There are 10 of you standing there, and unfortunately, at the end of this evening, one of you will be going home. You know what? Let's talk about the good stuff. We have some amazing prizes. A modeling contract with top agency Sutherland Models. An editorial spread in Fashion Magazine. And then an opportunity that any young model would absolutely love to have. A $100,000 contract with P&G Beauty makers of Pantene and CoverGirl. That's pretty great, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna introduce you to our extraordinary entertaining judges. Somebody that you know pretty well, you've already worked with him, extremely accomplished celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Paul Alexander. International supermodel at the top of her game, literally just jumped off a plane to be here with us, Yasmin Warsame. Hi. Hi, ladies. And last but never least, somebody who almost needs no introduction. Just when you thought fashion could get more playful and sexy. You girls are in the presence of royalty to my left right here, right? Ooh. Fashion journalist and editor, Miss Jeannie Becker. Strap yourselves in, girls, because this is going to be an amazing ride. All right, so now it's time for your individual assessments. We've randomly drawn names. And tonight, Tia, you're first. 
So this week you did a photo shoot with Paul and it was a little tricky, right? Because it was a nude shoot and you were straddling the line between sensuality and sexuality. So let's take a look at your best shot. What I like about it is that it's definitely a strong fashion image, but it's not too sexy. That doesn't even look like me. <laughs> We've never done anything like that before, right? No. I mean, uh, for the cameras. I mean, oh, that was, <laughs> what are you saying? I mean, no, I, I mean, I no. mean to say. No, I mean, posing like in the nude with a guy. I've actually been asked to, not with a guy, but been asked to do a nude before, and I just, I was like, no, thank you. Okay, Corey. How did you feel about uh, this sensual nude shoot? I actually felt a bit of chemistry with the male model, so I got into it. Oh, really? It. <laughs> did you guys yeah. take numbers? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I love how red she's getting. <laughs> oh. Let's see what kind of chemistry there was. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's a, ooh. How tall are you? Five, eight and a half. You look almost six feet and over in that picture. You've lengthened yourself out. Here's this little girl, all sweet and nervous in front of us. That look at her, look at her. is dynamic. That woman there is blowing me away. Wow. All right, Tara, you're next. Hey, Tara, let's take a look at your best shot. Wow. Oh. Is that Tara? I'm looking at that and I'm looking at you and I'm like, no. That's a stunt model, right? You sent someone in to fill in for you there. There is a strong air of confidence in the shot, Tara, that is very, very impressive. You're aware of your body from head to toe. You've nailed that. You don't even look at the guy, you know? No. It's like it's not about the guy. You totally own it. All right, Jacqueline, let's take a look at your best shot. Dude, this is so dynamic. There is nothing shy about this photograph. Oh, no. It's like you have your hand on the back of this guy's neck as if you are pulling him in, as if you're the seductress. It's fingertip control. You know what I mean? Like, you're not grabbing him and pulling him in. It's just like, push me wherever you want. <laughs> I'm there, right? Listen, from the waist up, it's gorgeous. From the waist down, it's not gorgeous. The bottom to me looks heavy. The stance, I mean, I'm talking about the stance. Well, Nolay said, although he loved the shape of your body, he felt that you needed to tone it. You need to know how to disguise your troubled areas. Okay, Mika, so uh, are you ready to see your best shot? Yes. Okay, let's take a look. There's a kind of edge here that I think is really great that I haven't yet seen. Your body looks great, but the chin is down too low, so you kind of have to cheat that up. Come on, baby. Give it to me again. Yeah, there you go. You see, can we go into a close-up there? There's like a pained kind of a look there. I almost feel like we went from sensual to a little pornographic, maybe. All right, Mo, you're next. Let's take a look at your best shot. Whoa. This is definitely very different from the other girls. Especially because girls are never encouraged to smile in fashion shoots. It didn't take direction well. It's worked against because it's a disconnect. How, does, how do we have you smile and everyone else is going to be strong and elegant? This is beautiful, but it wasn't what was asked of you. Sinead, you're next. Well, let's take a look at your best shot. Wow. You were comfortable? Look, I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you were, were you comfortable doing the shot? Oh, my legs were like shaking. Shaking? <laughs> Oh, you know what? There's something very serene and yeah. beautiful about your face. If you have never modeled before, I'm, I'm pretty blown away. Nole felt that you didn't know how to move and you didn't really look high fashion enough. Now we have Gina. Okay, before we even start, Mama, I need to talk about these boots. They actually make your legs look really disproportionate. <laughs> They actually go up here, but I've been standing for quite a while. I would all, you know what? I almost prefer that. First impressions are everything. Let's take a look at your best shot and see how you did. Oh, okay. There's a booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the yep. The composition on this particular shot is especially pleasing. I disagree with you on the composition because my eye is kind of stuck on the male model in this shot mostly because your shoulder is way too high. When we were shooting, I was saying, give me that, you have a beautiful neck. Do not compress your neck. I want you have the neck of a swan. So. Like that? And that was her best shot. That's her best shot. All right, Miss Rebecca, up front, why don't you come on down? Hi. 
Let's take a look at your best shot. What I love about this shot is your face. It literally looks like an illustration, and, and I love that. The thing that I'm not so sure about is I feel like you look very, very awkward. You were awkward, and it, it took us a while to get there. I guess it's a matter of becoming more aware of your body. Last but not least, Steph, come on down. Well, let's take a look at uh, your best shot. Stunned silence. There she um, is. Go, ah! go. <laughs> oh, OK, sorry. <laughs> you are beautiful. That picture's not. In my, sorry, Paul. Face angle again. If I were to just look at the face, I would almost think this is a man in drag. You look like you don't want to be in his arm. I'm definitely not happy about it. It definitely is not what I was expecting. All right, ladies, the judges are going to deliberate. After we're done, we'll call you back in. And then someone's going to go home tonight. The way I was feeling this morning, completely flipped. By the time we left judging, I think I'm going to be eliminated. Totally raw. Get unseen footage of tonight's deliberation only on CityTV.com. This is an amazing group of young women that we have in front of us. Incredible. All seem to have potential to me. We've got a difficult decision to make, Tia. I'm wondering about her body shape. Really? Right off the bat, you got to make me say the fact that I think that she's it, 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 she's going to have a bit of a problem because her hips are a little wide. We're going to give them a harsh reality check so that when they get out there, they're ready for any fire that strikes them. Give it to me, sister. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tara. She has the height. She has the body. She has the look. My concern is I think she might be a little manly. Just a scotch. Mika. She's a beautiful girl. I don't know how much further she has to go, except maybe in a catalog or something. She doesn't cut it for me. Corey. I think she needs a bit more time to come into her body, probably in like a year or two. I think she has so much potential, it's exhilarating. Mo, look at her hands on his hands. They're, yeah, she's clearly uncomfortable. Yeah, clearly. I mean, wouldn't think he stands up like that? <laughs> That's not comfortable. <laughs> like when you're holding something you don't like and you're just like, eh. Sinead. I think she's got a classic look, yet she also has a bit of an edge. She needs a lot more education, possibly a makeover. Jacqueline. Very glamorous. OK, now here I am, picking on those physical flaws. Do you want to the legs is are about. thick? For Canada's Next Top Mall, you want the legs of a runway. Gina. In person, she's stunning. Maybe it's just an issue of we need to give her a makeover. Rebecca. I think she needs to work. Uh, a little bit on her positioning of her body and understanding her body more. She was just really cool. Well, I liked her. I just liked her. Steph, this was my biggest disappointment. Is she or isn't she photogenic? Because as gorgeous as I think that girl is, that to me is so, like I look at her and go, oi. We've got a star in this room. I feel it with every fiber of my being. I guess we've got our decision. I first want to say I am just so proud to be standing here with all of you because this was a very hard decision. But the fact remains, I'm still only holding nine photographs in my hands. And those nine photographs represent the girls who will continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. Whoever's name I do not call, you must immediately go back to the house, pack your belongings, and go home. The first name I'm gonna call is... Corey. Congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Canada's Next Top Model. Thank you. The next name I'm going to call, Tara. This is an elegant and dynamic photograph. Congratulations. Thank you. Rebecca. 
It looks like we're gonna keep you out of that meat factory just a little bit longer. Congratulations. Thank you. Jacqueline. The judges feel overall you might wanna start thinking about toning your body, not losing weight. We want healthy girls in our competition. Next name I'm gonna call. Tia. Congratulations. Thank you. Sinead. Girl, you have such a great look. I don't know what happened with this photograph. You have another chance. Congratulations, you're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Next name I'm gonna call. Mo. Congratulations. Thank you. I want you three to know that this is very difficult for me. The next name I'm going to call. But Gina, it looks like you got another chance. A model needs a neck. Neck, <laughs> neck, neck, neck. You're gonna hear that forever. I'll give you neck. <laughs> All right, congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Will Steph and Mika please step forward? I have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the girl who will continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. Whoever's name I do not call must immediately go back to the house, pack her belongings, and go home. I think on some level, you both know why you're standing here today. I'm not sure that each one of you know is that you both possess the strength that the other one needs. Steph, you have this larger than life personality, but with all that energy and all that enthusiasm, the best photo you had probably wouldn't get published. Mika, while your photo is dynamic and strong and has a maturity about it, it lacks a certain enthusiasm a true connection to the person looking at it. We struggled over this decision. Unfortunately, we have to send somebody home. Well, it looks like Like masculine is going to be in fashion for a little bit longer. Oh my god. Steph, don't let us see another photograph like this. Congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thanks, me. absolutely surprised. I really, really, for the last two days, I've just wanted to go home so badly. The girls, they're a lot younger than me, you know, and even though we got along, it just, just didn't feel like a place where I belong. It would have been nice to stay, but I think everything happens for a reason. Guests of Top Model stay at the Suites at One King West. Oh, my hair. Next week, resistance is futile as makeovers take over. See me walking down the street? I think I was afraid. But does better beauty bring up a beast within? Right now. Let me talk. I'm not one of those people who needs everyone to be my friend.
I'm here to win. Then some very icky co-stars make things downright slimy. That goes in my head. I'm going to pass out. I can't even. Don't miss Canada's Next Top Model next week.